What have you found, Jason? Yeah, when we first started looking at this, I was like, everyone knows pretty much about Bernie Sanders crazy. They yeah. all already know about what he stands for. He's a right. socialist, all that. You know all that. So we concentrate on the people that are surrounding him. And that's something that you did very effectively when uh, the Obama administration, mm -hmm. like all these people around him, like, what are they really mm -hmm. about? So I concentrated on that. And I was like, oh my gosh, starting from the very top all the way down and shows you've done in the past about top down, bottom up, mobilizing, you know, foot soldiers. This is pretty much what they've based their campaign on. When you hear about some of these people, like what they, how they cut their teeth in the, in the very beginning, how they became activists, socialists. Marxists, Islamists, Islamists, blatant anti-Semites. I'm like, I don't know. I hope the San I hope Bernie Sanders watches this show because he I know, knows. I he knows, knows he's I, he's he's Jewish. I I, I I I have a hard time believing that he would allow some of these people into his campaign if he really knows. I don't know, but when you hear about the guy that we t we focus on today, he gets his own show today. Um, There's just one guy. He's the uh, head of his campaign, right? The head of his campaign. Yeah, head of his campaign. It's one guy whose name you've probably never heard of. You might know the things that he's been involved with. Um, and, uh, and he's a really, really frightening kind of guy. And it's it's almost unbelievable. But when when you break it down today, you, you'll you'll see that wow, like this the ties this person has, you would think immediately would lock him out of any of the things he's ever done. But he's he's been at the the peak. He's been at the pinnacle of the top you know establishment Democrat you know uh, leaders and power players. Yeah, Nancy Pelosi, Harry Reid. Um, he also strangely uh, he was at Center for American Progress, um, and he strangely. Uh, took on Hillary Clinton uh, early on, and everybody was like, "What are you? What are you doing, man?" And now, only now, does it start to make sense, right? And uh, there, that's that's a really very weird split. But that split now is starting to leak out, and the, and the, and that little the war going on in the Democratic Party. We've already seen like you know some of the freshman congressmen coming out against Nancy Pelosi, criticizing Obama, other people that are, are in the establishment. But now, as you'll see later tonight, that we're kind of tracing this to like one of these moments, and then it escalated in another watershed moment where more and more people were like, "What is this guy doing? Like he was our guy. This was our like." Are, this probably could have been someone that we send, you know, to try to get elected one day because he, this is our golden boy. Mm -hmm. He's our guy. But then he privately flipped. He flipped on him and went radical. And we'll show you later tonight that, you know, we've got leaked emails that show that the establishment are like freaking out big time. Like what in the heck? Like what is going on? What is this guy doing? You'll see those emails later tonight. But there is a very re uh, real splintering going There's on right war. now. There's a war. And these these are not the people that you want to go to war with. Bernie Sanders' people that are on his campaign, you don't want to go to war with them. They specialize, specialize in the type of community activism, quote unquote, that you kind of saw in the Obama campaign, like Occupy Wall Street. Um, you know, are we going to get to her next week? Uh, yes, okay. that's Monday. Yeah, there's, there's a, the, 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 you know how Occupy Wall Street was leaderless? You know, this is just spontaneous grassroots leaderless. Uh, no, I don't think so. In fact, I think we found the leader. Uh, and the leader now works for uh, Bernie Sanders. And the evidence is pretty darn compelling. If you, <laughs> that's their thing, leaderless, decentralized. Like you'll hear, you hear that even about Antifa nowadays. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what to do about them. You know, they're just, it's grassroots, they're leaderless. They just come out all on their own. Really? Because I've kind of found a, a video where they sent this one person to speak on behalf of their entire group and organization in a foreign country. Wait until you see this and which foreign country. Um, this should be seen by every Democrat. Yes, absolutely. Um, the Democratic Socialists, the Communists, the Islamists are working together. And they are working together in the Bernie Sanders campaign. And they are working to destroy, first, the Democratic Party. As anyone who is a normal citizen knows the Democratic Party. They are destroying it. Uh, and this is not something that Republicans or independents should be cheering for. Oh, good, destroy the Democratic Party. Because they'll replace the Democratic Party. And they are very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. 
Uh, it's a it's a, a strong look at Bernie Sanders. Show me your friends, and I'll show you your future. Uh, part one is tonight. You have to be a Blaze TV subscriber. Subscribe uh, to blazetv.com slash Glenn. Use the promo code Glenn, and uh, you'll save uh, 10% off of your uh, first year of subscription. Uh, blazetv.com slash Glenn. This is worth signing up for. And you know what? If you don't like it, just cancel tomorrow. Um, but I, I'm, I'm promising you, you are going to like it. Uh, and you're going to find this of great, great value. The press, all the press, in my opinion, they're talking about all the wrong things. Uh, if, if you really want to see where we're headed, you need to see tonight's show. If you want to see where the Democrats really are, and the thing that nobody on the left wants to talk about, the real war inside the Democratic Party, and who's leading it, it's not Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders, I think, is a vehicle. He's, he, is, he is, in many ways, using them, but they are using him as well. He is a vehicle for very bad forces. Uh, 